if one thing occurred to me whilst I was there, you see, everything when you get recipes in Europe are always done out in metric measures, right? Do you understand? <laughs> Very good. Super. So it's all done out in metric measures, so it's all in litres and grams and everything else, which I think is pretty good. Uh, but I, I understand metric measurements are coming to us quite soon, and I think it makes an awful lot of sense. And it will finally and irrevocably, I hope, ban the cut measure, which I detest. But one of the things which I thought was quite exciting was that books are being changed into metric measurements. And there is a piece of a book which I'd like to read to you because this is one of the first books brought out in metric measurements and shows the influence of metric measurements. I know this is rather dull, but I just thought from an educational point of view it needed to be said. <laughs> <laughs> this is called, this book incidentally is called Inspector Fabian of Scotland Meter. <laughs> no, and no, this is just a small section and I'll show you how it does influence language. Somehow, Inspector Fabian got his 30.480 centimetres in the door and had slowly centimetred his way into the room. What he saw there made him stop. Suddenly, the blood kilogrammed in his temples. <laughs> As there in front of him swayed gently on a rope and wearing his favourite 45.460 litre hat was the well-known figure of Sir Kilometres Standish. You have to read this sort of thing, incidentally, to understand it. <laughs> quite, quite dead he was. Give him enough rope, muttered the inspector, or putting it another way, give them a centimetre and they'll take 0.9144 of a metre. <laughs> and this is strictly, you work it out, write it down. Nothing was heard but the 24-hour clock striking 2,300 hours. <laughs> twang! Twang! <laughs> you have to get this bit, it's funny. The wooden bird hit the far wall like an 8.16 kilo hammer. <laughs> The inspector wiped 2.68 grams of sweat from his brow and reached into his hip pocket. He poured 0.250 of a litre of cider and tossed it back. The study door centimetred open <laughs> and a common market blonde slipped in. Some as yet, he thought. At least 101.6 centimetres, 71.12 centimetres and 88.4 centimetres. <laughs> Just call me Santime, she drawled. Was it you, said the inspector softly, pointing to Sir Kilometre with one digit. <laughs> I'm not gall good, I know, she pouted, but never that. I was spoiled as a child, you know, spare the rod and spoil the perch. <laughs> you see, I was never converted. <laughs> she clucked like a metronome, you see, she was a pixie. There was a sudden swift noise under the inspector's centimetres. Who's that, he called. Is that the murderer of poor Sir Kilometre? No, sir. I'm the man from the gas company. I'm in a cellar reading the yard. 